What's up YouTube? Did you realize that Affinity had raised their prices? Because I didn't. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen, I'm a media design educator, and today we're here to talk about Affinity changing the prices of their apps. In fact, increasing the price of all their apps by 10%. Now you may have already known that this happened, but I didn't even realize it. I was going around to check Black Friday deals to see what was going on in the design world, and I found out that Affinity prices had been raised. Affinity used to charge $49.99, essentially $50 for each of their desktop apps, and $19.99, essentially $20 for each of their iPad apps. But that all changed. If you go there today, it'll actually be $54.99, essentially $55 for desktop apps, and if you go into the App Store, it will actually be $21.99, essentially $22 for each of the iPad apps. Now that is a change of about 10%, which is pretty significant when you think about it. And it turns out I didn't know that this had happened because I bought the apps, I used them every day, but I wasn't thinking about how much they were costing for other people. And I just went ahead and told everybody that they cost $50 most of the time, except when they're on sale. But it turns out I was wrong. And this change happened sometime around the beginning of August, from what I can gather, about the time that Affinity 1.10 was released. But when that release came out, I didn't see anything in the notice about them raising the price, probably because of course it didn't affect existing customers like myself. But it might affect you if you're new and thinking about purchasing this software. So I think the first thing to ask ourselves is why did this happen? Why did Affinity prices go up? Well, that's pretty obvious, I think. Affinity programs were always priced really low compared to their main competition, which is Adobe, and even compared to a lot of the other competition in this space. I've recently done a couple videos talking about Vector Styler, and it's priced at $95 compared to the $50 that Fiend Designer cost, or that I thought it cost at the time, now compared to $55. So they've always been priced pretty low, and Affinity just ended in June, their 50% off sale that they'd been running on and off during the pandemic. So people had been getting these as low as $25 a piece. So obviously Affinity is a product made by Serif, and Serif has to make money, and the way they make money is by charging for their products. That's how business works. And many people like myself who use Affinity have been predicting that there would be a price increase eventually. It just wasn't sustainable for them to stay so low. But it wouldn't have made sense at all to do a regular price increase while you're having a sale, which would then change the sale price. It would have all been very confusing. So I think part of the reason they waited till now is because they were running those sales for so long to help people out during the pandemic. The other thing, of course, is inflation. They haven't raised prices since Affinity Designer was first released, which is going on about six years ago now. So they haven't raised prices in all that time, but of course inflation has continued to go forward. And if you've been paying attention at all, inflation is really going up right now as we are working to come out of this pandemic, as a lot of people are quitting their jobs, as a lot of shipping and logistics have gone up in price or aren't able to be done at all. So everything is increasing in price. So it's not really surprising that Affinity went up in price. In fact, it makes a lot of sense. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised that the first price jump was only 10% over the original cost. But the good news for you is that I did find out, because I was looking for Black Friday deals, that Affinity's Black Friday deal is coming for Black Friday, the Friday after Thanksgiving, and it's going to be 30% off all their apps. And not just their apps, but also everything else in their store. So if you've been thinking about picking up some fonts or brushes or textures or anything like that, this will be the perfect time for you to do it. If you're already an Affinity owner, you can go to the store and still save 30% off of all of that other stuff. So make sure that you don't buy Affinity until Black Friday. It's always best if you can to wait for a deal. They do the Black Friday deal every year or they will do a deal when they release a new app or an update to the apps, there will often be a deal going on then, which is going to be 20 or 30% off. So always, if you can, wait to purchase. So how do I feel about this price increase? I think sometimes because I talk a lot about how I don't like subscriptions, people think that I don't like paying, but that's just not true. I think that developers should be paid. I just think that charging subscriptions the way Adobe does is really not very useful 
because they don't keep providing new and ongoing value to all of their customers. To some of their customers who use the Creative Cloud to its full extent, it does provide ongoing value and it makes sense. But to a lot of their customers who are only using one or two apps and aren't using a lot of Creative Cloud features, it's not an ongoing benefit for them to continue to pay. So I have no problem with Affinity raising their prices. Like I said, Affinity was already dirt cheap. And so even raising the price by 10%, which only works out to be by $5 and $2 respectively, they're really still not that expensive. They're still very affordable for people trying to get into graphic design, students who are studying graphic design. They are still really the most affordable professional option out there on the market, in my opinion. And so I'm not mad at all about this. I'm actually pleased that it's only 10% and that we didn't see it jump by like double because I really think that these apps could easily sell for $100 a piece. And they continue to put development into these apps and have not charged us for an update at all. But I fully expect, as I've said before, to be charged again when 2.0 comes out if I want to get the features of 2.0, which I'm sure I will, but not everyone will. And so not everyone will be charged because not everybody will feel the need to purchase to upgrade for those features. But I fully expect to be charged when 2.0 comes out. I have no problem with that if they provide the value there. But they've already been providing ongoing value by giving us free updates for the last you know, five or six years. I really think that there's no problem with them raising their prices incrementally like this. It's something that all businesses have to do. And I still say it's a steal of a deal. Go out and grab it on Black Friday if you haven't already because there's just no reason not to. And remember that I teach a lot of courses over on Skillshare on all of the Affinity programs. So you can check out those links in the description below so that you can start to learn Affinity if you're just picking it up right now. And if you haven't gotten Affinity yet, honestly, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, drop in the comments. Let me know what you're waiting for. Are you waiting for a better deal? Is there some feature that you think you need that they still don't have? Let me know why you haven't picked it up because honestly, I can't understand why you wouldn't pick it up, especially at the discounted price. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.